Hi guys, uh, welcome to Investing with JYK, and uh, we'll continue with the basic uh, investing series. And today we'll talk about a fictitious chicken farm. So I was using a chicken farm as an example in some previous videos, and let's carry that a little further forward. Okay, so. Um, Let's say uh, beginning of the year, I got a partner, and uh, then we invested a hundred thousand uh, dollars for a uh, hundred thousand shares into a company that let's call it the Chicken Farm Company, and then we were to um, build chicken farms. So things, some sequence of events. Um, I will lay it out and then uh, we'll try to construct the financial statements as an, ex uh, an example. Uh, so let's say we bought some land for 1k, sorry 10k and that's somewhat cheap but let's say it's in the middle of nowhere and nobody really care about us. Uh, so it's cheap land and then we hired a contractor to build a chicken farm and then the contractor charged us for 30k and typically contractors ask for a down payment and as the the project progresses they will ask for subsequent payments in this case let's simplify it and say that the uh, contractor is just going to take two payments, the down payment and then uh, the final payment, which is due one week after completion. So 10k down payment, 20k due upon completion one week after that. And the guy is fast, so he does the whole chicken farm in just one month. And he does a good job, and then the chicken farm is estimated to last uh, 30 years, right? And uh, so the other thing is now with the, with the, with the building, we need the chickens, we need the hens. So imagine if I'm only here to sell eggs, I bought a bunch of uh, mature hens, and then they're worth. 40k, so I paid $40,000 for the hens. And I buy uh, essentially 2,000 hens for $20 each. This number is actually fairly, it's in line with actual cost of uh, hens. They're like 15 to $20 each, I think. And hens are, they, they live around six years. After six years, they die. So let's say uh, the expect life expectancy is just six years, so that's that. And then we bought some feed, chicken feed. Uh, chickens are fairly cheap to feed, um, so uh, you know one thing is I think they cost about fifteen cents to feed in a day. And uh, the other assumption we're going to make is that each hen is going to lay one egg per day. And because the, I have, I, because our hens are fancy, the eggs are fancy, each, each egg is 20 cents. Usually they're slightly less. Let's say this 20 cents. And uh, the other, the last assumption we're going to make to simplify uh, the financial statement is that we sell directly to consumers and the consumers essentially come to the farm to buy the eggs directly and then pay um, sorry pay the uh, pay in cash so there's no receivables to, to think about okay so how does this translate into financial statements okay so first of all financial statements uh, you know there's a timing component here so let's say immediately after construction, before we paid the the contractor his final due, uh, this is going to be the balance sheets, and um, this is going to be the balance sheet, right? So we started with a hundred thousand dollars in investment, but that'll be in cash. Um, but then we bought 
1k in uh, in feed, so that goes into the inventory. So so now we have 90,000 left. And then we bought the land, which is 100k, which goes into here. So we're 80,000 left, and then we spent uh, 10k for um, the uh, as a down payment to the contractor. So we're down to 70k. And again, we spent a 40k uh, in to buy the, the hens. Whoops, to buy the hens. Uh, so that minus 40k is now 30k. So that's how much cash we have. So at the as soon as we finished building the uh, the chicken farm and bought all the feed and the the hens, we have um, 30k cash left. And Inventory is gonna be the uh, the feed, so that's a hundred. That's ten uh, k, and then plant property and equipment is really just the building and the hens. So the building is forty k as we, um, sorry, thirty k. So as we pay the the uh, contractor to build the building for thirty k, and then. Uh, there's uh, uh, 40. K oh, sorry. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, 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 sorry. I made a mistake. So the land, so 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 property, plant, and equipment is really the land, which is 10k, and then the building, which is 30k, and the hands, which is 40k. So that's your 80k. And in terms of liabilities. We have a liability to pay the contractor for 20k as his final payment. So that's a balance sheet. Um, and in, on the other side, uh, in terms of um, the equity part, uh, you got the common stock. Each one is worth uh, one cent. So 100,000 shares is worth 10, uh, 1,000. Um, Dollars, and then you got the contributed capital is uh, is basically the the difference between 100k and 1,000, so 99,000. And retained earnings zero because we haven't started operating, we haven't earned any money yet. That should be fairly straightforward. Okay, now let's say that after 30 days, we have uh, we've been feeding these hens and then we've been selling the, the eggs assuming all the eggs got sold um, and then at 20 cents uh, a at 20 cents per egg uh, this is going to be the balance sheet so let's think about this first of all because we're selling directly to consumers there's no receivables every all the sales directly get turned into cash so the amount of cash is going to be 10,000, which is, sorry, 30,000 minus this, because uh, it's due in one week, right? So we have to pay it in one week. This is 30 days later. So we first paid that, paid that 20,000. So that's 100. Uh, so we have 100K left. And then, the, and then we have the rest. The rest is you had 2,000 hens. And then uh, each hen produced one egg a day, and each egg is 20 cents. So 2,000 times uh, 20 cents times 30 days. So that's how much cash that was generated. So that goes into here. Uh, this number is basically you get go from 30,000 minus the amount we need to pay to the contractor, 20,000 plus 12K uh, here. So that's 22,000 and um, uh, assuming that we need to consume uh, 15 cents of feed per hen per day that is 0 0.15 times 2,000 hens oops, times um, 30 days so that's $9,000 worth of feed 
and we had ten thousand dollar worth of feed and you subtract nine from ten then you get one thousand dollar feed left receivable is going to be zero because we are dealing with cash and then this part so plant and uh, property plant and equipment we had the ten thousand dollars in land land does not depreciate because land is land it doesn't do anything um, so that's that remains there so ten thousand plus the whatever is left of the um, the building the building was uh, thirty thousand dollars but then you have to subtract the depreciation so imagine as we um, Assume that the land, the building is going to last for thirty years. It's going to be thirty thousand times uh, divided by thirty years. So that's the annual depreciation divided by twelve. That's a monthly depreciation. So that's the amount of depreciation. This part is really the depreciation of uh, the the uh, the building. And then you got the hens. The hens actually depreciate as well because they have six years of lifespan. After that, they die. On average, so forty thousand dollars of hens, but they have to subtract the uh, the de depreciation. So forty thousand times, sorry, uh, divided by six over six years, and then divided by twelve, twelve month in a year. That's the amount of um, depreciation. This is the amount of depreciation of the hens. So total, we suffered about. Um, 600 something dollar worth of depreciation and that is how this number comes into place and here these two numbers don't change but the whole thing here added up should be equal to here right so in here we got like you add all these up the difference is uh, 2300 something and that is your retained earnings and if you think about uh, what I said in uh, balance sheet, this is not cash. This is just a plug variable. This explains the difference between uh, the equity part and the net asset part. That's the only um, purpose that this thing serves. Okay, so that's fairly straightforward. Okay, now from this thing we can construct both the um, income statement and um, a cash flow statement and one thing about income statement is previously retained earnings was zero right this was zero and now it's 2000 something that means in the income statement this thing has to be the exactly the same as the uh, net income because net income is literally defined as the change in um, net asset also known as equity so let's look at this so revenue how did we get to the revenue revenue was 2000 hens times one egg a day so 20 cents a day times 30 days and that comes out to twelve thousand dollars. Cost of goods sold. So cost of goods sold typically has to take into the depreciation of your productive assets uh, and whatever other things. So in this case, it's uh, cost of feed plus the uh, depreciation of the hens plus the depreciation of um, the uh, the building, right? So so let's just do that. The depreciation of the so the cost of the feed was nine thousand, as we have computed before, and then the, the depreciation again um, we have calculated, but then I forgot. So let's just do it again. So thirty thousand divided by thirty divided by twelve. That's your monthly depreciation. Plus um, it was uh, forty thousand dollar worth of hens divided by six years of life expectancy divided by 12 months in a year so 9,638 that's exactly the same as this and then with those two numbers you get the gross profit from 
gross profit is defined as revenue minus cost of goods sold. So that is just subtracting this number from this. And because we have no other expenses, we're assuming that the electricity or whatever thing is free, this number directly falls to net income. But usually there is some other things like corporate expense or SGNA in between those two, and then you have to extra, uh, subtract those. And if you have a debt, then you have to subtract interest to get to the net income from gross profit. Um, in this case, we're trying to simplify this scenario, and so uh, I, I assume there was no debt involved in this company, and then there is also um, uh, no corporate expenses. So that is your net income. So from the net income, we can then a net income and balance sheet, we can then reconstruct the cash flow statement. This is the cash flow statement. So the cash flow statement start off with the net income, which is the same as this number, and then change in inventory. And changes changes in inventory are not cash um, items. They are uh, a real cost because once your inventory draws down, you actually own less but it's not a cash item, so you have to add it back up. So that is the cost of the feed, 9,000, because we already paid for the feed. It's sitting in a warehouse. We no longer pay additional cash for it. And change in payable, so that is the same uh, as, uh, that is the difference between this line and this line. So essentially, that's a $2,000, sorry, $20,000 that we paid the contractor. And that's in here. And um, depreciation has to be added back in because depreciation, again, is not a cash item. Uh, this, the cost is more or less real because your, your uh, farm does wear out and your hens do die. Uh, so that is accounted here, but it's not a cash item. You own, it, the cash cost is only incurred when you have to replace the dying hens and the broken, uh, the broken farm itself, the structure itself. So, in this case, we will uh, have to add it back to the net income to get the cash flow, and eventually the operating cash flow comes out to be the sum of all these items, which is negative eight thousand. And if you look at this one, the cash is 30,000, and then by the end of it, cash flow is the difference between two um, points in time. That's $8,000 in difference, and that is exactly what's shown here. So, yeah, so overall, um, this is an example of a super simple chicken farm that is also very prudently wrong, uh, run with no debt, no receivables and anything. So that is, um, and also no, no, uh, oh, this is payable, yeah. And also uh, no, like, too much uh, payables either. Um, and that's how it, it kind of balances out and um, we will later dig into how the chicken farm um, uh, I will introduce a scenario in which the chicken farm is profitable and yet bankrupt and we'll do that and that would be the last piece of um, uh, basic accounting and uh, then we'll go into other uh, aspects of uh, investing but I think it's quite important to apply um, what you know to a particular example and then try to see how things actually work okay so that is all for now and uh, I'll see you next time see ya